Um, let's have our odds we go into town, evens we pause. So okay. Roll. Give us a roll. Evens we go into town. Okay. Town it is. <laughs> it has been decided. I'll just have to uh, give uh, Tom a uh, recap of the burning. I have a flashback. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Gates of Barovia. So I also need to present you with Sorry, give me one moment here. So this is what you saw coming toward this house. As you leave this house, you also have the same path wandering down. Oh, for shit's sake, where the hell is it? Where's the goddamn map? Ah! There it is. Dink. Show to everyone. Okay. Starting way over on the right-hand side of this map. Did it appear for everybody? Mm-hmm. Okay. Starting yeah. way over on this side, on the on the right-hand side of your map there. Wow, you can't even zoom into this thing? God, terrible. Oh, there we go. Uh, over towards C is where this was all occurring. The village of Barovia is described in chapter 3, which is over here. Sorry, give me just one moment. Uh, you begin, you continue to tra start traveling down this path. Uh, the, sorry, with the, with the light of the, of this thing. The, this house on fire. Uh, you begin to travel away from the... Ta uh, ugh, oh my god, I can't even talk anymore. <laughs> Why is my coffee all gone? Mm -hmm. I know. Um, tall shapes loom out of the dense fog that surrounds everything. The muddy ground underfoot gives way to slick, wet cobblestone. The tall shapes become recognizable as village dwellings. The windows of each house stare out from pools of blackness. No sound cuts the silence, except for a mournful sobbing that echoes through the streets from a distance. This this wailing that you can hear. Very sad, very solemn. Um... When the fog eventually burns off, Castle Ravenloft looms over the village on a hill. Um, I don't know if I can actually point that out on this. So if you're looking at the map that I just presented to you, uh, coming in from the right side, uh, going left, you'd be entering in this little village at E, and you could see the... the as the fog burns away, uh, you can see the castle at at K beginning to loom overhead, watching over this wonderful town. Uh, the first thing that occurs. Stop licking your butthole. What? Talking to the dog. Oh. Stop licking your butthole. She keeps licking her butthole. It's pissing me off. <laughs> not not Choma Chomo, the actual dog. Or Choma, I'm telling Choma, Choma, stop licking your butt. Oh, you can do <laughs> rash. It's gonna be bad. Um, as you as you uh, come into this village, this this city, this small town, um, you begin to hear the sound of small wooden wheels rolling across the damp cobblestone. Uh, you look left and right. You trace the lonely sound to a hunched figure 
bundled in rags, pushing a rickety uh, wooden cart through the fog, which is another thing that I have to present to you. Which is, is it that one? Yes, that's the one. Bloop. Oh, bloop. This lovely lady, uh, there is a gentleman that is standing at this old cart, and he is purchasing a small pie from this lady. Uh, he hands her what would appear to be cash. She hands him a pie, he thanks her, and he wanders off into the village, which looks like... Wow, I'm just going to give you all the stuffs right now. This. Uh, entering in from the right-hand side, uh, you hear the old woman. She says, thank you, thank you, come again. She does one of those, and she begins pushing a cart, her little cart, very slowly over the rickety, uh, over the, over the cobblestone. She begins pushing it toward uh, toward toward the center of town. If she is off to the right hand side of this map of the village of Barovia, she uh, she is moving more toward the center of it, away from you guys entering into uh, entering into this town. Does that make sense? Did I describe that correctly? Ish. Yeah. I don't know if I can. No, the long press does not work on one of these maps. Mm mm. Stop. Oh I bet you I can do this. Wait for it. Jesus. Wait for it. Wait for it. Village. 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 Oh, wow. 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 Ah. I can do this. Okay. There we go. That's much better. Now we have a physical representation. So what I'm talking about, you are entering in over from the that side, the uh, eastern side, and coming in this way. Uh, she is probably, you know, 30 to 50 feet away from you, pushing a cart inward, walking away. And she says, come everyone. Come get your dream pastries. Happiness is only a coin away. What do you do? Uh, just watch. Excuse me, excuse me, ma'am. I'd like a dream pastry. What is the coin of the realm? Oh, good evening, young lady. Oh, it's such a good thing to see a, a new face up in these here parts. My goodness, it's been so long. The, the, the currency is, of course, the same as it always is. Gold, silver, little platinum, maybe? But these, my <laughs> lovely dream pastries, uh, they... Wait for it. One. They will go for one gold piece. A single gold piece. We'll give you the sweetest of dreams. Would you care for one? I have several varying types. I would. What? Breaking uh, money. Uh, I I would very much like to purchase a dream pastry. Of course, of course, little girl, young lady. Sorry, not little girl. Of course, young lady. What? Tell me. You're new to these mistake. parts. What is, what is your name? You appear to be of dwarven descent. Yes. <laughs> uh, let, let's stick with Autumn. My name is Autumn. Autumn. What a beautiful young lady you are. Uh, mine. All the, the village here. They refer to me as simply Granny. I sell the dream pasties. Here, let me show you. And she kind of opens up her little wagon. Oh, hold a little... on a second. Oh. I just want to make sure. Dream pastries, right? I don't want the pasties. 
No, you don't have the pasties. They're not the little things on the nipples. <laughs> <laughs> these are not. These are pastries, much like a much like a, a donut or a, uh, a croissant. Croissant. Uh, croissant. Uh, mud, these are in fact a pastry, so they would be a little pie, probably like a little quiche that you could hold in your hand, about you know, that 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 big. And then, uh, and she kind of she kind of hobbles over to the side of her her uh, cart, and she opens up the lid, and you see them steaming there. There's several different varying kinds. One of them is smelling very much of maple, very delicious, very sweet. Uh, one of them. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm on the wrong list. Fuck. One of them is maple. One of them is beef. Yes, beef pastry. Uh, and I don't remember what the other one is. Whatever sounds delightful to you. Maple beef. Maple beef. <laughs> yes. It's like it's like the billions of flavors of rice aroni. And she's like, yes, we have butter and chives and broccoli and beef. And beef and beef and broccoli, 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 and plain and beef and and peach, peach. Ooh, can I have a peach dream pie, please? Peach dream pie? Why, yes, please. That would be. And she takes, she reaches in, moves some aside, reaches in, grabs one, puts the others back on under, you know, on top of it. It was a little, whatever it's called. A, 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 there was a separating. A, 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 a partition of sorts that keeping keeping this one warm and she takes it out in this little it's like one of those it's like a what is it called a, a, a the checker print that you'd see on a picnic blanket that kind of thing and she has it kind of coupled there and she says yes my dear please that would be one gold piece if you would be so kind I, I, I do hope this is the proper kind of gold and I take out a gold coin <laughs> She takes it from you, and she bites it. It does the, the similar bend that gold would do, and she says, yes, this will do just nicely. Thank you. And what about the other... The other oh, I'm sorry, what? How are your teeth doing? Uh, I... You have to understand that an old woman such as myself, we... They ache. They ache. It is unfortunate. Did you ever see Dances with Wolves? It's a lot like that. Where she says, no, make my meat soft. My teeth hurt. It's a lot like that, Jazz. <laughs> and then we have also, oh, who else do we have here? We have a, a strapping young fighter. What say, sir? What is your name? My name is Dothoth. Say it again. Do stuff. Do stuff. Do stuff. What, what is that? Is that mean something from where you come from? Yes, it means my name. Fuck yeah. That's it. Can I? Uh... <laughs> if you look in the dictionary under dust stuff, there's a picture of me. <laughs> <laughs> and then she does, and she opens up her dictionary. And she says, "Oh." I am a dostoff. That's you. Look at you. Look at this strapping young gentleman you are. My goodness. If I were only a younger woman, I could offer you something more than just my dream pastries. And yet I am not. I am unfortunately... Oh no, everyone left. Front door. Oh. Someone opened the door. Oh, uh, can I offer you a dream pastry, yes, sir? Um, what is in them? Well, this one has maple. I'll go through the list again. Beef and beef. Broccoli, broccoli, broccoli. Plain. Plain and broccoli. Plain broccoli, beef and cheese. Plain broccoli, beef, cheese, chives, and asparagus. Peach. Peach and broccoli. Peach, broccoli, beef, and cheese. Peach, broccoli, beef, cheese, chives, asparagus, and... Did I already say plain? Let's say quinoa. Quinoa, what, what was quinoa and broccoli. Quinoa, broccoli, beef, and cheese. Quinoa, broccoli, beef, cheese, chives, and asparagus. 
gasoline. Oh. This one, do you don't want that one? That one's gross. That one's for Chimosuke. That one's for Chimosuke. <laughs> Say that again. What makes them dream pies? They give you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm in the wrong voice. They give you the most wonderful of dreams. If you have not noticed the fog, the mist, she looms heavily over us all the while, all the time. The sunlight, the vitamin D that one requires to remain happy. It does not soak into us. What? I will gladly accept a uh, plain regular. Plain. Yes, it tastes much like a croissant. It's kind of a bit... Oh no, I've stopped. There it goes. Oh, it's a bit buttery. You'll love it. And she kind of reaches in. She pulls it out from the right side of the wagon, the little heart this time. And she says, here you go. It's on a blue checker print uh, cloth at this point, much like a... Politely accept it. And then put it in my bag to to savor it later. And the payment? Uh, how much do I owe you? Just one. A single gold piece. I will pay her a single gold piece. <gasps> Thank you. Can't be in mind. This is still a ridiculous amount of money for a pie. <laughs> it really is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she shoves the gold piece in her bra. It's a great pocket. And she turns to the to the uh, to the to the bird, and she says, "My goodness, I have never seen such a large bird. What is your name?" Who could have been? Ha ha! Fooled you. Okay. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm. You're welcome to answer as you wish, but I am going to make a couple of consolations for your benefit. Hi, my name is Rebel. Hi, my name is Rebel. <laughs> <laughs> I. She turns. She turns to Autumn. She says, "I thought you said your name was Autumn." <laughs> and then you speak as well. The Kenku speaks as well. She's, oh, this is weird. <laughs> this is a thing with with the birds. The birds. The birds. The birds. The, the birds. birds. <laughs> the bears. Doppels. Okay. Well, uh, what did you say? Hello, my name is Rebel. Uh, hello. It's a pleasure to meet you. May I offer assistance in the form of one of my many pies? I'm gonna go through my little purse and all I have is 15 silver. So I'm gonna hold my hands out like this and go. Ah. <laughs> my friend would like to know if this payment would be acceptable. Unfortunately, it does take a bit of work to make these pies, especially in such a dreary environment. A I'll full... fluff my feathers. Good. Jeez. And then I'll just try to I'll try to persuade. I wonder if I can roll for persuasion. Like that is a thing. I uh Give me a persuasion. Why not? Let's give it a shot. I'll just click it. What did it come up to? 13? Can I add... Can add half of your proficiency bonus rounded down to any ability check you make that doesn't already include your proficiency bonus? What does that mean? Oh. I don't have to look in this. I can look over here. Oops, not that one. Sorry, give me a moment. Sorry. Uh, what's your current proficiency bonus? Plus two. It doesn't matter. I think I figured it out. Uh, is this a jack of all trades thing? Yes. She's 
just gonna sit there and spin. Me? No, the my fucking computer. There we go. Oh. I'm sorry, what did you just roll? Thirteen. You win. Yay! <laughs> Normally, she says, she says, well, Normally, I would be unable to accept it, as it does take quite a bit to make these pies, and I certain want, certainly wouldn't want to run out of supply. But for you, since you are here, since you have made it all this way, 15 silver will be perfectly acceptable. And she reaches in, and she says, "Will, uh, what is, what is, what was, which kind would you like?" That's what she says. Which kind would you like? May I offer a maple? The maple is maple. Maple, maple it is. Maple. And she reaches into her cart, and she pulls out a maple with a little brown checkered pattern on the on the towel. And she hands it over. And payment, please. Thank you so much. And she places that also in her bra. She shakes her tits and they start rattling because there's a bunch of loose change up in there. These are fake. <laughs> hey. <laughs> These are all natural. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> and she she would turn to her to your other com companion to Ch uh, Chimosuke, but. He's not here to respond, and I'd love to hear his actual um yes, do you have any triple chili hot and spicy extra uh, 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 extra picante uh, pies <laughs> a daring young lady you want, you need the sriracha dream pie. <laughs> Yes, I do in fact have one. Infused with the flames of hell itself. Can I offer your friend who is has no voice currently? Oh, I'm not even in the right voice. Can I offer your friend who has no voice currently of his own? This wonderful, uh, uh, the Sriracha Dream Pie. Can I offer the Sriracha Dream Pie? I would absolutely love to make sure that there was a Sriracha Dream Pie in uh, my friend's inventory when they get back. <laughs> Fantastic. And she reaches in, she moves aside some, she moves aside some more, it's way at the bottom there. And it's piping hot, that motherfucker. Like, you, you take, she holds it out and you see the steam rising off of it, it's fantastic. And she holds it out to Chamosuke, who I would assume would have at least a coin on him. Uh, if I ever could find out. I don't think any of us have actually put in money in this game. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we're gonna say that he's minus one gold. Because he took one. I think everyone's worth like 15 gold pieces or something. There you like go. Most of the oh, I don't know. I just wrote down what I collected at the house. I found 15 silver. 15 silver. Uh, and then she also hands it to him. Um... And she says, thank you. Thank you very much. Is there, uh... It's just a party of four, then. Um... If ever there you... There used to be a dog among us, but oh. uh, the dog disappeared. Say it again. <laughs> there used to be a puppy among us, but the puppy disappeared. The puppy disappeared. Was there a puppy? You know, there was an individual in this town somewhere, she says. Though I don't... I don't quite remember the name off the top of my head because the DM forgets things, but somebody <laughs> here lost a puppy recently. 
Was it a semi-demonic puppy? It was. It was a semi-demonic puppy. <laughs> you know of it. <laughs> this area. This area. Always. It creates such a strange... Oh, I'm losing it. I need more coffee. <laughs> it's very strange, this area. If you happen to see the puppy again, please bring it back to the village. This village of Barovia. Um, if you ever need me again, just ask any, any villager here for Granny. They'll lead you right to me. I'm here quite often. Most of the time... Wait for it. Uh, if you ever require me again and are not in the village of Barovia, you could find me at the at the old windmill. The old bone grinder. Bone grinder. That that thing. The old bone grinder. I know it's a it's a terrible name, but you could find me there. It's where I make the pie. That sounds incredibly ominous. Not the part about the bone grinder, the idea that just everyone in the town would know you as Granny. Does that mean there are no other grandmothers in this town? Let me ask a question. I'm sorry, answer your question with another question. Do you not have a nickname of your own? Uh, I mean, I'm sometimes called Gallows. There you go. <laughs> and would there not be another gallows in the world? Of course there would be. But if someone says, beware of her, she is the gallows. They know who uh, I'm sure. I don't necessarily think anyone would. <laughs> beware of <laughs> the gallows. That just... <laughs> <laughs> Yes, uh, I, it's just a name, you know, it's one that my, my dearly departed mother, uh, well, she wouldn't have given it to her. <laughs> it doesn't make any fucking sense. Hold on a minute. Uh, I do admire that you have convinced this entire town to distribute the name Granny only to you. <laughs> there you go. You know, there are other elderly women in this town. Are they grannies? Do they sell pies? I think not. I don't know. Is, is there also an auntie in the town? There might also be some se several aunties. <laughs> Would any of them be named auntie? I'm not sure. I I know my I know my my customers by their first and full names. If uh. If I could be of any kind of assistance uh, in the future. Wait for it, wait for it. Sorry, wait a minute. Forget that thing I just said. Um, if you would like, that's what she says. If you would like any further information, the best place to always go is the pub. The tavern, which is called the Blood of the Vine Tavern. It, it's it's uh, just right over there. It's right over there, about uh, five doors down there. I'm not sure if you can see the uh, the lights, uh, the single shaft light. Oh, I gotta get out of that voice. Uh, and then you, as you look down, you see that exactly that a single shaft of light thrusts illumination into the main square. Its brightness looks like a solid pillar in the heavy fog. Uh, above that gaping doorway, the sign here, uh, the sign hangs precariously askew, proclaiming to be the blood on the vine tavern. Says, that that would, be, that would be the place where I would I would I would start. I would start there. Well, thank you very much, Granny. A pint and a pie sounds lovely. <laughs> On that note, welcome to Barovia. And she closes up her wagon and starts wheeling along this same road. So she is if she's right here, roughly, she's just going to continue on down 
and just uh, start selling her pies to other patrons. And on that note, I think that's a great place to end it because there's a whole bunch of fucking role playing that is about to occur. Fair enough. <laughs> the thing that kills me, though, is that there is a certain amount of meta knowledge I have about this. And, yeah, you know, there's a part of me that really wanted to pull out an action that I would have no reason to do in the game. <laughs> do I do I get to know what that was? Uh, uh, basically pull out the hag finger <laughs> and offer it to Granny. <laughs> <laughs> well, she, uh, knowing her, because I'm not only, ref I'm trying not to only reference the book, there's other, two other sources on Reddit that I'm also trying to reference, and they, they mix things up in a different way. Uh, one of them would have had you, had, it wouldn't have been a start of a fight, but it certainly wouldn't have been, like, a nice conversation after that kind of thing. But I'm glad you didn't. That's great. I mean, it would have been a... Excuse me, I found this on my d d arrival here in Barovia. I was wondering if uh, if you knew who, who might have lost it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's fucked up, dude. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, on that note, yeah, I am going to kill this...